Hi y'all, bonjour, hola, my name is Trish. If you're new, welcome. I am so excited to bring you all the new features of Photoshop 2022. Now, so the first new feature of Photoshop 2022 that I'm going to share with you is harmonization. So let's say that you have this first image and you want to match it with the background color so that it doesn't look too off because they are two separate images. Go under filter and then choose neural filters. Now, Photoshop has really advanced the neural filters. So we want to go down and locate the harmonization. Now, if you update your Photoshop for the first time, you will have to download it like you see with a cloud sign. You need to either download it so that it loads up in your Photoshop and you have to turn it on for it to show. So from here, you need to go and select a layer to match it. So I'm going to select the background layer and just what Photoshop do its magic. Now you see that Photoshop had basically picked up the colors in the background and blended it in very well. So your image is part of your background. So the second Photoshop 2022 feature that I want to show you is the automatic selection object finder. So if you go under your object selection tool, you see the object selection tool now is more advanced. It was in the Photoshop 2021. If you click on it, you notice that this arrow will basically be spinning. And once it finished spinning, you can basically click or hover over any of the objects in your image and it will basically make a selection of just that. Now, if I want to make more than one selection, I need to hold down shift and basically select a few more. So you notice that I have three selections right here. Now, if I add my layer max, it basically takes off the other ones and this is what you are left with. You can add a new background and that is it. Now, if I disable my layer max and I go back, you see that there's another icon next to it that shows all objects. So if I click on that, Photoshop will basically select all the objects within my image. Now you can see that there are still some imperfection and know that this is a new feature. So it's still being developed. The automatic selection object finder doesn't really work too well on hair. So if I make a selection and I click on my subject, you notice that it picked up my subject. I can hold down shift and also select now, if I add my layer max, you notice that it took off the background, but the hair is not well refined. So, so that is something you have to take note of. Photoshop 2022 feature that I want to share with you is the collaboration. If you want, if you're working with another team member, so you can both make comments on one design. Now, the only way this works is if you save your file on Adobe Cloud. So to do that, you go to save and save as, and you want to go ahead and choose save to creative cloud. Now you want to go ahead, rename your file or name it, click okay and save it. Now, once you save it, once you save it, you need to go back to your, um, computer or your folders and go and look for your creative cloud file. Now, all you need to do is double click on it. It will open up the file on Adobe. And all you need to do is double click on it and notice that this file says PSDC, which means Photoshop cloud file. Now you can go ahead and click open in Photoshop. Um, it says, do you want to allow page to open in Photoshop 2022? I said, yes. So it opened right here for me. So once you have your file saved, you need to go ahead and go to window and then click on comments and under comments, you can go ahead and say share. Now, once you click on share, you can invite whoever you want to go ahead and edit this file, or you can also go and say, click link to share. So once you click the link, you can go ahead 
and share with the team or change up the setting so maybe only invite people who can access or public anyone with this link can view it so there are so many options when it comes to sharing your cloud file so that brings us to the third new photoshop 2022 feature the next new photoshop 2022 feature that i want to talk to you about is the landscape mixer so let's say that this image is almost like a sunny sunset um, landscape now i want to convert i want to change this image into a winter season so all you need to do is go to filter apply the neural filter now you need to go and make sure you've downloaded the landscape mixer now with that already downloaded all you have to do you see all the different presets you can choose whichever one you want I'm going to go ahead and choose the winter and watch Photoshop do its magic. Wow, this is really cool. Photoshop is really advancing. Now, if I want to even change up my, um, my scene, if I want something else, I can just scroll down and see whichever one I want. I'm going to go with something like this and we will see how that also turns out. So you notice that this cool feature can basically turn my image from um, from a summer scene to a winter scene as well as a fall scene. So this brings us to the end of the fourth new Photoshop 2022 feature. The next new Photoshop 2022 feature is the color transfer. Now, if I want to match this color, if I want to match this image with this color scheme i'm going to go to filter neural filter and i am going to go ahead and scroll down and choose color transfer now you have the option of choosing any of the options uh, presented to you here the preset or we can choose any of the one that we prefer so i'm going to go to image and i'm going to choose the one four three and notice that the same colors within my image has been transferred onto my um, image. Now, if I feel it's too much, I can go ahead and reduce the opacity. So I take some of the color off. The last new Photoshop 2022 feature that I want to share with you is the improved colorize. So let's say this black and white image we want to turn it into a colored image. So all you need to do is go to filter, go to neural filter, and we are going to locate the colorize. Now we need to turn it on and Photoshop basically tries to give us a very nice color scheme. Now there are other features that Photoshop has added. As you can see, the bottom is not working the way we want. So what we are going to do is you're going to click on output as new color so once you do that photoshop basically puts the color co the colorization on its own separate layer so you can see this is the before and after so if we want to basically fix the bottom portion all we need to do is make sure that we pick our eyedropper select the blue color now pick up your brush tool and you want to go ahead and reduce your brush and basically paint that over in this area, basically picking up the blue so that it matches with the other section of the suit or what he's wearing. So that is very cool, very cool new feature that helps you to basically fix up your colorization so you get a very good blend. So with just that quick, with just that quick, uh, painting over you see that I've been able to basically fix most of the imperfection in the jacket and we have a very good blend so guys this brings us to the end of this tutorial I hope you enjoyed all of these new Photoshop 2022 features leave in the comments below which of these features is your favorite I can't wait to hear back from you all Please give this video a thumbs up and I will see you all back with another tutorial.
拜哦。